All right, the fun part of the day is uh, creating your Zoom links. Okay, so um, first thing you're going to do is go to schedule. Okay, so you're going to want to schedule it. And then um, it depends on how you're trying to set it up. If you're trying to set it up per class, you're going to have to create a different link for each class. Right, so like I'd have to do like Cornea's digital marketing or whatever, period one. I'm really good at typing. Right, period one, and then you'd go create it for that time. Okay, um, and that one, honestly, I just feel like that gets messy, right? Because I have to create like four or five different links, and then like maybe I accidentally go on the wrong period link or whatever. So I like just creating one link. Okay, so that's going to be um, Cornea's Zoom link. Okay, so create one link. Okay, so I'm going to select, um, I'm going to select the day, right? So it's the 19th. Um, and we're going to start it not at 4 p.m. School starts at 7.30. Okay, so it starts at 7.30. Duration about nine hours, right? That goes, might be eight. Actually, I think it's eight. Okay, um, I'll just do eight minutes and eight hours and 30 minutes to keep it safe. Okay, and I'm going to do a reoccurring meeting. Okay, um, it's kind of weird when you click reoccurring, it makes the other disappear, but it should remember it when you go to create the, uh, the whatever, create the link. Uh, meeting ID generate automatically this means it changes frequently like it'll create a new link each time um, the best is your personal ID personal meeting ID but that being said anyone can come into your class at any time with that li link right when it generates it, it's basically like it's tied to me and not tied to a different type of meeting so it's almost as if it's tied to like my classroom or whatever so a student can come in at any time to my classroom um, and there's ways to combat, like, if you don't want other people getting in, you do passcodes, things like that. I like the waiting room. That's pretty safe, right? Like, I can verify that it's a student that I have on my account um, and whatnot. But those are some things you can change on settings. Okay. Um, and then advanced options, right? Uh, if you would like, you can automatically record your meetings. You can mute uh, participants upon entry. Okay, just different settings. So then you're going to click Save. Okay. And what will happen on my other screen, it popped up, but... It'll create a Google Calendar, right? So it's January 19th, 7.30 to 4 p.m., um, right? And so it's going to give me all that. But you can see right here on my link, this is my personal meeting ID. Okay, so they can see or, uh, the way the link was created. Anyone that has this link will be able to access my meeting, okay, uh, as long as it's during the time that I'm available, right? So this is the link that you would copy and put into canvas whether you're putting it to a button or whatever okay um, and then let me actually get back to here so once it, that's created uh, I'll go to meetings okay and you can see right here this is the meeting I just created zoom link and it's tied to my PMI right my personal meeting ID so then like every morning I'd wake up at 7 30 I'd click start and then it opens it up all day um, and again, there's a waiting room, right? So I, it, it still gives me like, I, not like random people are just going to be coming in because I can see in the waiting room who I want to put in or, or whatnot or accept. So um, yeah, I mean, again, there's a lot of different ways you can do Zoom. Uh, this is the way that I prefer. It's just one link. I can use that link on all my different Canvas courses. Uh, and then it's not, it's not complicated for me or my students. So that's what I prefer. Um, if you need help, though, let me know.